Okay guys, this is part six of my series on how to build a shed in your backyard. And it's been a long time coming. I've, I've had this done for a long time. I just uh, neglected to upload it. So I just wanted to show you guys what I came up with after the landscaping and stuff. Uh, once again, this was a shed that I did not want to have. Uh, I really don't have the room to bring one back. Uh, you know purchase one hole and send it in plus I didn't I don't actually like how they build them <coughs> They cut a lot of corners. So this came out really nice, and I think it's gonna last a long time at least my lifetime I'm gonna walk around here just show you what I got. I'm still working on landscaping and stuff but uh, This will give you a general idea Got the oversized vents in to match the house. And uh, just kind of streams up from the house. It looks pretty good. I'll put a cupola on the top. And of course, it's got the, the uh, vinyl siding to match the house. And the shutters, same color and everything. So that's what it looks like on the outside. So I'll walk you inside and show you how I finished it off. I didn't do a very good job with my video series, uh, but uh, it's uh, hats go off to all these guys that spend a lot of time videoing and working on this uh, the for the project at the same time because it's makes it twice as hard actually. So one thing I did, I wrapped these I have a, uh, eight foot break, so I wrapped those with aluminum. So everything is good and waterproof. These are fiberglass doors. They're wood inside or some type. I think they're foam or wood. I'm not sure. Uh, and I put a, a diamond plate plate on the edge of down below. You can buy like small ones, but I actually had a, a fab shop make me one up nice so that when I'm bringing the mower, I have a riding mower in there. When I'm bringing this stuff in and out, you, you're never going to wear that corner down. And I put this uh, step here with Trex. I didn't want to do the ramp. I don't think it looks as good. So I have uh, aluminum ramps that I put down to drive my stuff in and out. It's actually not that big of a deal to do so. I'll come in here. I have my... Uh, let me just stand back here and show you. So I have this right here. This is, I can just walk under this and I'm six foot three. So that made it nice. And I, the rest of that's all nice space up there that you can put some big boxes or whatever. And one thing I did use on this, uh, which I probably already covered, is the hurricane brackets out on the, the uh, roof trusses that I made myself. So that all came out really nice. I put two more shelves here and down here, and I can still get my power tools and stuff underneath. Tried to maximize the space since I only built uh, uh, an 8 by 12 And I even put a sheet of plywood up here, uh, which gives me room up above the... the the actual uh, trusses so not oh, pretty good you know I got a lot of stuff hanging in here and I did the wiring I put two lights in they're LEDs I put one up there and then I put one over here right under that for my lighting in here did the wiring I actually got just put a simple receptacle here I brought the the power in back here in this corner so you can't even see it I just uh, come in from one of the circuits from the house, which I'll walk outside here and just show you. Since I have a crawl space here, I just came out and dug a ditch out here, and I tied into a box inside, brought it in here on a circuit that had very little on it, brought it actually uh, in up underneath that. You can't even see it. So it comes in 
like that. I didn't put a fuse box or anything in it because it's only got like two receptacles on it and two lights. So the light switch, I added a receptacle here and just did the wiring as you can see it comes over across and goes up through there and then down that's the power coming in so pretty simple came out nice pretty pleased with it I wanted to show you guys the uh, the screen that I put out here to make a critter proof you know, one of the things I see all the time is critters getting underneath in here, digging a hole or living under there. So I bought, uh, it's stainless steel screen that has like quarter inch uh, holes in it. And that keeps pretty much everything out. And what I did, I took that on the press brake, my little brake, and I bent this on a 90 degree. So that it's it's actually comes out about to here, about an inch from this piece. So if they try to dig in the stones here, they're going to hit mesh either way, and they just can't get in. So that's one of the things that I've noticed on a lot of sheds. It's a, uh, an annoyance for most people that <coughs> they get critters living under it. Well, this has been here for two years now, and, and no critters. So pretty pleased with that. Anyway, that's that's how the shed turned out also have one of my switches here that turns on a fan up here i got the top of the uh one receptacle here i have that wired to that switch so i get a fan as soon as i come in anyway it all came out really nice pretty pleased with it. and i know the video wasn't as inst uh, instructional as it could have been but gives you a general idea I'll just walk back and that once again that's what we got All right, guys, till the next one.